Hi guys, in this R20 video we are going to be looking at fields. So fields replace the fall off system that was in the MoGraph effectors. So if I just look at the effectors and then go to fall off you can see that we now don't have that option we did before to go away and just change the uh, fall off from a sphere or to a box or to infinite and stuff like that. We now have fields which are their own separate entity. But what that means is, is that we can add and combine fields together um, to get a multitude of different effects. So, you know, we've got a box field, as we sort of had before, but you've got blending, and then you've got maybe um, spherical fields, and you can max that, or you can add, subtract, overlay, and things like that. And the amount of effect that that has, you can colorize, so on and so forth, okay? So there are quite a bit of new possibilities. In fact, I think really it can blow open the doors of overlaying effectors and falloffs within Cinema 4D. So let's just give a quick example. So I'm just going to simply create a quick matrix there to have an effect. And to say effectors that we want to create. So MoGraph effector, and I'm just going to create a simple plane effector okay that will add that in and we'll have a look at our fall off so let's just create a simple linear fall off and there we go and that's colorizing that as well based on the um the color remap of the fall off so we've got extra things here so you've got you know you can increase and decrease the length as you could do before with the field you've got remapping uh, we've got a color remap so if you want to change the color that that has an effect on or you can turn off color completely but this is having this this lovely sort of effect on on our matrix and then what about oh now I've just added another linear linear field what about if I want to add a spherical field in there so now I've got two fall offs having an effect which can be animated separately so up here I've got my plane effector but then I've got my fall offs up here as separate objects as well and then looking at my plane effector you see I could add I could subtract so instead that that's taking that away you know which is really quite cool um, you can control the opacity or the effect that that effector is having on it and it means that you can now layer up effectors. I could turn off the color on this one so that it stays the color based on the original effector, uh, the original fall off, sorry. See a whole bunch of new terminology I'm gonna have to go away and uh, sort of make sure that I, I work with. So there is loads of stuff that this is going to be able to work with. Fields also work with deformers as well. So if I just grab a, a Motex thing there and just going to make it single object and I'm going to add in a displacer, um, which uh, shading I'm just going to add in some noise. So once I've done that, I'm probably going to need to just go to my Motex and let's just whack the polygons up there so we've got a little bit of detail so under my displaces to say we've got fall off and that fall off even here has been replaced by our new fields function which means that you've got that control once again you know really quickly to be able to affect that deformer where you want to using our spherical field or any field that you choose to use we can also use it on vertex maps. So if I just create myself a plane, let's make it a bit bigger and make it editable. Let's go to points mode. I'm just going to uh, select a vertex weight of zero. So that creates my vertex map. Now select my vertex map. We've got this new little button here that says use fields. So I can put a tick in the box and just get rid of the freeze. I don't need that for the moment. So I could use a box field and things like that, which I can move around. I can create fields that way. You could also use shapes as well in the field. So if I create a cube and wherever my cube is, I want to create a vertex map. So if I just go to my vertex tab and then drag and drop my cube in there, 
I can change, I can just select my cube. No, maybe I can do a screen overlay and perhaps I will do surface. And then if I put my cube down, uh, I might need to increase its radius a bit. Uh, clip to shape. Uh, let's just overwrite that. There we go. So, my fault. I can move that cube. So, if you've got something that you want to have an effect on a vertex map, you know, a texture or something like that, then you can even clip it to shapes so that, you know, if you want stuff to work that way, it's got a radius so it will appear the closer it gets, or you can increase its radius further out. You can also do blending and things. So it really is quite a powerful new tool within Cinema 4D. There are some really cool examples like this one that was in the content browser about how vertex maps can and fields can affect polygonal stuff. Um, I hope this has been a useful toe dip for you into the new Cinema 4D R20 fields. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk.